the net with Net Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Friday, December 18th. And today the moon moves into Aries at around 1:30 p.m. Pacific time. And this is also the day before a big energy shift, which is the day before Mercury and Pluto align completely aligned in the exact degree in Capricorn. So let's talk a lot about this. I believe after the years and years of watching energies, I believe if you are very intuitive and very attached to energy and very aligned with energy, then I believe you get some sort of message or some signal from the universe about energy before it actually goes into sex. In fact, sometimes for like a couple days, I'll get leading energy that gives me hints about what the energy is going to mean to me. Um, so the north, okay, so Jupiter in Virgo is going to be conjunct with the north node in Virgo. It's going to trine Mercury and Capricorn, trine Pluto and Capricorn. Remember, tomorrow, these guys are all, they're going to be completely aligned. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about what this means. The energy is empowering you. It's time to, to critically look at where you have been lazy or where you have been unwilling to acknowledge um, an issue with your mental well-being, with your physical well-being, or with some sort of routine in your life that has not empowered you to your highest degree. Ascension is essential for soul growth, yet so many prefer to stay stagnant in their lives. Um, where are you stagnant? Big at question that you may feel. Where, where, you may feel some sort what you may feel. If you're in tune with energy and you'll feel it, you, it's not going to be something that I think you get hit with. It's going to be something that you align yourself on an emotional, intuitive um, level. And that always comes from your gut is where are you stagnant? There's going to be an area in your life where you're protective, where you're holding yourself back. I mean, come on, guys. This is the card that came up. Uh, king of <laughs> stagnant energy. Um, I think it's something that has to do with something that pulls you back and makes you scared about moving forward, moving away from progressive energy. Um, it, it could, I want to say that for many of you, this could be some sort of work routine. If you, you think if you work harder, um, that it's going to get you where you want. But I want to say work harder, not smarter. Something in here, something just told me to say that. So I'm going to say that for some of you, somebody that could be very important. Um, this is about that new idea. There is something on the horizon that is, I, that is special. It's a special message for you. You will feel it. I think deeply in this energy, this could be walking away from a, 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 a routine in your life that did not empower you to stand on your own, to stand firm and stand strong. I, I want to say I feel codependency a little bit. So for some of you that are struggling with that, that need, that codependent relationship, um, it's about moving away from that's because that's where you lose your power. And it's about moving forward to strength and assertion and making your own choices and believing in yourself. I, I deeply believe that's the route to go. This is decisive energy. This is about you taking your life into your own hands and making sure that your outcomes is energetically aligned with what you are meant to be. Ascension level energy, guys. We're not talking about the little stuff because, you know, we have all this fracking Sagittarian energy. And this is about the big, big game, big deal, spirituality, uh, moving forward. This is about seeking guides. This is about messages from energies that are probably outside of your immediate external environment. Jupiter and Virgo is going to oppose the moon in Aries. It's going to oppose Chiron and it's going to square off with the sun. So let's talk about this is very real energy to acknowledge. Jupiter and Virgo, 
critical energy, very, it can be very destructive and a very low power. It's in opposition. So I love that it's not in a square or a quincunx or I'd say all hell is going to break loose, but it's in a challenge. So what it's challenging is something emotionally driven where you seek ego stability. Um, where you are impulsive, where you are impatient, where you are dramatic, where you seek that immediate gratification. You know, uh, this is about the long haul with Jupiter and Virgo. This is big stuff. It's that, it's that planet that teaches you expansion. So there's going to be immediate versus expansion, right? It's going to be right now versus long term. You're going to be thinking about that and critically analyzing it. And for some of you, there's, there could be some pearls in that, in, that wisdom. Jupiter and Virgo is going to be squaring off with Chiron. So let's talk about that. It could expand that deep, dark wound I was telling you about yesterday. Um, or it could really honestly pull some energy to an area. If some of you have addictions, if some of you are ignoring health concerns, if some of you are ignoring mental restrictions, mental limitations, many of you will feel very challenged in this energy. Opposition is not a square. It's not a quincunx. It's an opposition. It's a determined. It makes you determined. It makes you pissed. It makes you want to overcome. It makes you want to get forward. It's not that square or that lower quincunx energy. So I, I like it. I dig it because that's that's exposing that wound and making you go, huh. yeah, wound f off like. I know you're there. I know you're the pit that's always going to be in me, but I'm also stronger than that. So Chiron, opposite of Virgo energy. No. Chiron is in Pisces, is opposite of Virgo. Very real energy. That's that polar opposite in energy challenging us to move forward, progress, set up healthy routines, move forward. And we've got this weak spot where we escape, where we deny, where we suppress, and where we don't acknowledge. See the opposition? Make it conscious. This is escaping. Okay, so Neptune is about escape and Virgo is about acknowledge and then develop routine that will overcome these two energies are going to be opposing having a conversation about let's create something then let's rock this like I know we got this deep wound but you know we got this strength here how can we make these two work opposition is just two energies that are here that just want to be here they're two little circles that just want to circle each other so let's make them work um if there is a wound that you are not addressing, opposition will make it impossible to avoid. I deeply and deeply believe that. Action-oriented Aries moon will not allow you to take this news lying down. F that. You get an Aries moon in this energy, and it's like, you want to oppose me? Like, you really want to fracking do this? Like, let's do this. I'm persevering. I'm moving forward, and I'm not looking back because looking back doesn't get me anywhere. You're going to feel that in this energy. So summon that sun and Sagittarius to come up with a new perspective. When you've got a square off in a Sagittarian sun squaring off with Jupiter and Virgo, what? You got a lot of fracking ego, man. You got Sagittarian energy. Sagittarian doesn't do anything. If you want to square a Sagittarius I dare you, because that's some mean-ass energy to swear. Like, you better be prepared for a debate. Uh, uh, you better be prepared for a very long and enduring conversation about it. Let's see if you last, because they will break you. So um, it's just very, very persevering energy, especially when you've got an opposition in moon. You've got fire and fire um, opposing this mutable energy. I would want to say that there's some wrestling, but the arm wrestling always goes toward fire, I would think, in this energy because mutable energy just wants to go, okay, 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 you know? So, um, but this, some of you will experience this weird internal war within of like, I'm moving forward, but I'm scared. I'm moving forward, but it's so new. Am I making the right decision? It's, it's so, it's so, um, 
expansive? Am I expanding in the right way? You're going to want, you're going to have this war, but stay strong because you have this Aries moon saying, <laughs> dude, when you have an Aries moon, not a lot that can take you. So have faith, put your energy in your Aries moon, put your air, embrace Aries, research out the energy of Aries. If some of you are suffering and you're just going through shit and you just don't know how you can deal with it, I want you to do me a favor. Go research out Aries energy and embrace it. Suck it in and in, let it envelop you because it's a really persistent energy and very, very passionate and very, very strong energy source in your life in this opposition. Pluto and Capricorn is going to be conjuncting Mercury and Capricorn. We've got Pluto, the planet of power, and, um, and Mercury, the planet of thinking, stability. So this is about stabilizing. Some of you could have these struggles of like, is this the right decision? It's it, 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 My foundation is so stable. It's scary. Like some of you could be having that. But in this energy, it's in a rocking good mood. It's sextiling Venus and sextiling Chiron. So self-love is super important. If you love yourself, you're making the right decision. You're honing into the right energy. So let's let's mean you get really serious. You want to embrace the right energy. You want to touch that right vibration and energy. Then that is Pluto and Capricorn, planet of power, aligning, or, or excuse me, not aligning, conjuncting um, Mercury, the, the way that you think and interpret and communicate about your environment, sextiling Venus and Scorpio, very strong, intuitive, loving gut. This is your gut. This is aligning you with the pointing you in the right dis direction. I say this entire week is about your gut. It's about water energy and you will know it because that's where the heal this where it starts to flush out that wound if you walk toward the energy it starts to pour into this wound there's something super healing and beautiful about this energy remember that what you resist persists so for some of you that are caught in negative energies and uranium and ego and wanting to control whatever you resist will come at you tenfold it's not about that. It's about flushing and moving forward to your intuition and straying away from ego-based reactions that come from fear, that come from the need and desire to dominate and control others. I can assure you, and I do this on a daily basis, when fear enacts my <laughs> Aries moon, I really have to say what what brought out that that Aries response in me that need to go kick ass like what was it and I've really had to dial back and fall into and let my emotions direct me and men and m most of this has been deficiencies that have lied within me and not necessarily what's going on so guys beautiful energy we're talking about this is still lovely lovely energy but I'm not going to deny some of you are going to have and wrestle with these these demons these monsters that are in the room if you do you're going to get a really good wound back and and energy flush in healing that deep dark wound that some of you have Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching Anessa Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow.